The reason I chose Ariana Grande is because this is one of the few celebrity fragrance houses, fragrance houses, fragrance collections that I actually enjoy almost every scent that she's put out. And yes, it's aimed towards the younger audience, but I think so many different women, and I've heard women exclaim that once they try the fragrances, they really love them and they enjoy wearing them. So I want to introduce you um, to this fragrance line and hopefully give some indication of which scent is for which occasion and not really go into depth of every single note because I like to do that in individual videos and if you want to see it, one of these fragrances that I'm talking about and give a more in-depth like a wear test let me know but let's just jump right in the first fragrance and I believe it was her first fragrance that she actually put out is Ariana Grande this is sweet like candy I'm pretty sure I hope I don't mess this up or butcher it this is the Eau de Parfum pretty sure all of her scents are Eau de Parfums um, I don't think she has an Eau de Toilette version yet this is a very nice very sweet scent just like it says it smells like mm, like cotton candy caramel all of her scents the theme is going to be very gourmand very edible, very delicious. All of these are going to be something that is hunger inducing. Really love this scent. Um, it does, I smell like it has some white florals in there as well. Probably has something a little bit heavier at the base, but as soon as you spray it, it's going to ignite your nostrils with uh, a very sweet scent. This is great for daytime, young girls, teen girls, of course they would love this scent. It's great for school. Um, yeah college girls you're, you're going to absolutely love this if you're a more mature woman for any of these scents except for one which i'll get to i think you should rock these during the day or if your guy has told you that he really likes sweet scents then i would wear these for that but for older women i think it's more of like a casual thing the next one is going to be ariana grande ari and this is such a beautiful bottle all of her bottles Except for um, the last one I'm going to show you. Come with this little puff ball, which I absolutely, I hate this puff ball. The great thing is that you can take it off. You can actually take it off. You can clip it off and put it like in your keychain or your backpack. So, I understand why they did it, but it gets on my nerves. And like this one, I absolutely had to like douse myself one day because I wanted to smell amazing. Uh, so, I ripped it off. I was like, girl, you, you have to leave. You have to go. You, you can't be here right now. So I ripped it off, and I like it a lot more. Um, this scent, it's a little bit more glam. It's a nice play off the Sweet Light Candy, which has the matted, or I'm sorry, the painted glass bottle and light pink. This one you can actually see through, and it has like a peach juice inside with a frosted pink bottle and a rose gold top. Uh, it just smells more like a, a more glam version. It smells like it has more flowers in it. Maybe something deep like some bergamot or something. I'm unsure, but yeah, it smells like it has like more red berries in it. More like fruit versus the uh, sweet like candy. But still very sweet, still very um, delicious and gourmand. This scent has a little bit more of a glam element to me. So I think this would rock. Um, if you're in your mid-twenties or, you know, a younger girl, maybe early twenties for a great date night, I think it has a little bit of a sexiness to it. Um, you can wear it during the day, during the office, or even if you're in the office, it's not going to disrupt anyone. The projection um, isn't huge, but you could definitely smell it and you'll leave a trail. All of her scents come with, I believe, the, the shower gel, which I have, and the lotion. So you can really layer and it does have some longevity. My favorite out of the bunch, yeah, Moonlight. So there's three that look really similar, and that's why I wanted to give you some indication of what's different. The last one is Moonlight, and just as the name indicates, it's a little bit deeper. It's it's a lot deeper actually. Yeah, this one smells not very sweet at all. Maybe sweet like um, not sweet like candy to me. It's it's sweet like in a fruit. Um, it smells a little bit more tart and a little bit more refreshing, but I think this is a very nice evening scent. Um, and also this will work for a more mature 
group. So if you really like Ariana Grande or you want to get into some of her fragrances or you just spot a great deal on it, um, I would do the Moonlight one if you like something with a little bit more depth and a little bit heavier. Um, the other ones are a little bit lighter and a little bit more youthful because that's her whole thing. The last one is, I don't have the full size bottle because I'm still debating if I want it. Um, because just as the name indicates, it um, it's called Cloud by Ariana Grande. This disappears as soon as I spray it on. It is a cloud. There's just nothing that really sticks to me. But it sucks because this fragrance smells amazing. It's been compared to Baccarat 540 Baccarat Rouge, which is a very, very expensive scent. Um, and it's like one of the top sellers in the world. Very nice, melty, um, caramel, think like fudge, that type of scent. Very delicious. Uh, and this has been compared to it. And actually, I agree. It smells pretty similar. Um, and if you're a more mature woman and you want to participate in Ariana Grande's scents, I would do Moonlight or Cloud. But Cloud, just, I think it has the worst performance to be honest, out of all of them, on me. Um, but it's also the most beautiful scent and the most complex and the most interesting. Um, it has lavender in there, which probably adds to the complexity. I don't smell a lot of lavender, but it might just freshen it up a little bit. But yeah, those are all the scents. I really do enjoy this fragrance line. I'm really interested to see which flanker she comes out with. And if she comes out with another pillar fragrance, the most recent one was Cloud, and I think it's doing really well. Um, but I've heard from so many people that it just literally disappears. But that might have been the intention with the name of it. So if you tried any of these, I'm really interested to know what do you think? Where do you wear them? Um, did you like them? Did you return them? Are they some of your favorites now? Let me know. Um, I love Ariana Grande's music and her perfumes as well. So let me know what you think. Have a good one, okay?